Hey guys, Dan here from CLE Tech, and this is my office entertainment setup. This video was not sponsored by any of the companies featured in this video, but some of them did provide the units for us to check out. Now, without wasting any time, let's jump into the star of the show, and that's the TCL P-Series 55-inch 4K HDR Roku TV. Some of you might remember that we featured last year's model of the TCL 4K Roku TV in another video, but the difference this year is that this guy comes with an updated panel featuring high dynamic range. The 72 contrast control zones really help the display's overall black levels and brightness, giving it, well, a good contrast between the two. The picture quality is also really, really good, no matter what app you're streaming in. Obviously, since this is a Roku TV, you do get the Roku operating system, and if you're familiar with Roku OS, then navigating should be a breeze. Some of the picture settings in the OS can be a bit cumbersome, but after you set it to your liking once, you won't have to do this again. The remote is the same as last year's, with a headphone jack, preloaded hotkeys, and voice search functionality. Now, it's not the greatest voice search on the market, but it works well enough for my needs. This model is also a bit higher in price compared to last year's, coming in at $649, but for HDR10 and this display quality and size, it's definitely one of the best bangs for your buck. If you couple this with the all-new Xbox One X with 4K HDR capabilities, well, you're in gaming heaven. Some of you probably know I definitely do not qualify as a gamer. I love, love, love the idea of playing video games just like anyone else, but I rarely ever have time for them. So I started my 2018 resolution early, and that's to play more video games, and I've been playing the Xbox One X quite a bit. I am amazed at how great the graphics and overall quality of the system looks when playing games like Destiny 2, Forza, and even this great indie game called Assault Android Cactus, which is an intense arcade-style stick shooter with really cool characters to choose from to battle your way through tons of robots. It's a really simple concept, and it's a lot of fun. Stay locked into CLETech.net for our full written review in the coming weeks. The TCL display and the Xbox One X are a match made in heaven for those who don't want to spend thousands on a gaming setup. If you need more proof at how great having HDR really is, you can try out the Insects demo on the Xbox One X. It really shows off what this display can do. One thing that most TVs are not good at these days is audio, and the folks over at Edifier sent us their super affordable speakers. These are the R1280Ts, and although the name isn't really good at all, fortunately the speakers are really good. For only $99, you get two sleek modern looking bookshelf speakers that have a fair bit of control built right into the right speaker. You can control things like the treble, bass, and volume all within that speaker. Once you have your settings dialed up the way you like it, you can connect this guy a couple of different ways to your TV or entertainment center and enjoy the crisp highs and surprisingly great sounding lows. With a four inch bass driver and a calibrated flared bass reflex port, this bookshelf speaker system delivers robust, rich bass notes that are full of presence and depth. Now I'm not sure about you guys, but where I live, it's really freaking cold during the winter and super hot in the summer. It's always one extreme to the other. The Dyson Pure Hot and Cool Purifier is something that has really come in handy during these frigid temperatures. Now, I'm aware that some of you will say there is no way in hell that I'm paying $500 for a fan and space heater combo, and that's a totally fair thing to say. I was actually right there with you until I actually tried one out. The folks over at Dyson have done it again. Not only is this design really cool and modern with the bladeless fan look, but this thing is powerful. In my studio, it gets really cold towards the end of the workday, and this guy almost heats up my entire place, and that's at the lowest fan setting. If you live in a small apartment or a house and want your entertainment area to be warm or cold, and want to save money by not having to turn on the heat or the AC, this $500 fan might seem like a worthy investment. There are loads of controls on the included remote, but of course, it is 2017 and this guy can be controlled the exact same way using your smartphone. This might be one of the best pickups of the year for me in terms of tech, because I use it every day and it does an amazing job. Plus, I'm a huge fan of how cool this guy looks and I'm a big fan of Dyson overall. Finally, if you're going to be gaming a lot with this setup and you're thinking about streaming or already streaming and need to up your audio game, you have to check out the Blackout Spark SL microphone from Blue. This thing is awesome looking, with the name Blackout referring to its, well, sweet blacked out design. The Blackout Spark SL features a new 100Hz high pass filter and a negative 20 dB pad to bring you some incredible versatility to whatever project you might be recording. Blue has tailored this mic specifically for podcasts, streaming, and even voiceovers like the one you hear now. 
You probably guessed by now, but this entire voiceover for this video has been recorded using the Blue Spark SL. You can clearly hear for yourself just how crisp and crystal clear the audio sounds. There is no doubt that this microphone is the route to go for your streaming setups. Now this microphone does require an XLR cable, but if you couple it with the Blue Icicle, you can connect this microphone to your PC via a USB cable for easy on-the-go recordings. This is actually my go-to way to record any voiceovers in Final Cut Pro, and it works flawlessly. I cannot recommend this microphone enough. So that's it for this video on my ultimate 4K HDR entertainment and gaming setup. Please let me know in the comment section down below if there's anything you'd like me to include in a future video, or if there's anything in this video that you want to see a dedicated video on. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.